What is up YouTube? We are back for another ride along. But I've got a fucking bad feeling about today. I've got a fucking bad feeling. I've been having good feelings and good days, good ride alongs, good show and tells. I've got a fucking feeling I'm gonna get a dog shit day today. Just got that feeling. I'm going to my local op shop thrift shops in Quinny Town. Yeah! I'm gonna smash out a few of my teeth just so I can blend in. I don't want to have a dog shit day, I just don't, I don't. But I've got a feeling I've had a shit morning already. Fucking everything runs in threes. I fucking broke me sunglasses, I broke my barley sunglasses, it cost me five fucking dollars and I broke them, that's fucking dog shit number one. Dog shit number two, I fucking dropped me toothbrush on the floor and it landed in fucking pubes. I still brushed my teeth but it was fucking dog shit. Now I got pubic teeth, pubic teeth. And everything runs in threes, so fuck, I hope it's not fucking... I hope it's not the thrifting. I hope it's not the thrifting, man. So we're going first to that place where you fill a bag up for five bucks. Usually it's books and all that, but I've never looked at the clothes there before. I've never bothered. And you can shove as many clothes as you want in the bag as well, but I was never a clothes man. So maybe these fuckers will have a few bits of clothing that they've been wearing for the last 20 years. It's vintage and they thought they'd fucking upgrade and get rid of them to the op shop, so fingers crossed. Let's do it, let's just scratch it, let's scratch it, let's scratch it. Let's do this, let's do it. Let's do it, let's go find some hillbilly fucking shit. Let's do this, it's right along baby. Ah. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to up shop town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. Alright, that place was not open yet, but it's only a uh, hundred meters away. So we'll do good semis first. Fuck, people don't know how to park. One cunt right on the line, the other dickhead right on the line. So you gotta fucking squeeze through. They're both not gonna be able to get in their doors, but do I give a shit? That's their own problem. If they wanna ding their car, I don't fucking care. Learn to park, dickhead. All right, let's try the good semis. Alrighty, this good semis is a good little fucking good semis, this one. Gonna go against me rules. I'm gonna pick up a basket and uh, go through it. Ah, uh, sometimes bad luck picking up a basket, I feel. Look at this. Someone didn't even put their fucking kids' pictures in there. They just fucking threw the frame in there. Didn't even bother. Didn't want to see their kids graduate. So there we got a fucking uh, good old Cabbage Patch doll. So what you do with Cabbage Patch dolls, this was only three bucks. Three bucks is good. Uh, check the back of the skull. If you check the back of the skull, uh, it should say what date and year it is on there. Also check the ass. Oh, it sounds fucking dodgy as shit. Uh, checking a doll's ass, but check the ass, and uh, the ass uh, should have a little freaking cabbage patch doll tattoo on the butt. Uh, should be on the left butt cheek. Um, so on the back of the skull there, had 1985, straight in the basket, didn't even bother looking it up. That'll give me about 30 bucks, show you that on show and tell. Ninja Turtle, not worth fucking anything. Uh, this little Asian, uh, Japanese... DVD I found, I looked at comps and holy shit, it blew my fucking mind. I'll show you this on Thursday for show and tell, but fuck me, if I get what it says just from a fucking DVD, mate, I'll be stoked. I'll be fucking stoked. So, look out for that one on Thursday. That Wii U game was not worth fucking shit. So we move on. There's Birdie. This is Birdie from McDonald's in, in the 90s. Uh, some vintage piece here. 50 cents for that one. I uh, thought I'd take a risk with that. Don't know why Mac has decided to call her Birdie. They could have called it Flappy or anything, but they just went with the fucking bird. I'm a bird, so let's call it Birdie. Fucking lazy. Lazy, Ronald. Lazy. So, this Greg Norman golf shirt. I thought I'd give it a crack. I did chuck it in the basket. Why not? Would you have left it? Or would you have kept it? That is a question. I looked it up and it looked like it was worth its time for me. So we'll give it a crack. 
Let's see if it sells or not, but looky what we've got right in here. Freaking, the kitty is gonna love this shit. We've got a vintage 90s Star Wars shirt, and it's one of those tie-dye ones that are worth some good dosh. Uh, for five bucks, thank you very much. It's only a large, it's a large or medium. Uh, I can't remember, but it's a part of my bingo anyway. So it's a part of my bingo. Uh, there's one crossed off the list. Thank you very much. Another one done. So now I need to check my bingo list actually. Uh, I think I've got two. Do I have two? I think I've got two. I've got two bingo lists now. Uh, super Dad. Someone is obviously not Super Dad anymore. They went out for a pack of cigarettes and never came back. Okay, so we go through the shirts. Keep going through these shirts. There was some, there was some more right stuff. I was uh, happy with that. I look for the hats. The hats were a bit uh, all over the place and dodgy and old. But um, look at this. I'm wearing this for Thursday's show. It's beard season. Oh, mate, Kitty loves that. Five bucks. It's beard season. That is going in the basket. I'm washing that shit before I wear it. But that is a fucking beauty. Every day is beard season. Every day is beard season. But bang, in my basket, you shall go. There's a nice Nintendo shirt. It was only a size small, so I didn't bother with that one. But it was pretty damn cool, that uh, Super Mario Brothers shirt. I uh, didn't bother. Sometimes, you know, you just can't be fucked uh, taking a risk. Especially when you're only just starting to go with clothes. Don't want to take too many risks. So here's what we've been telling you all along. Hope you know. Hope you could tell that was a fake straight away. That's a fake Eagles jersey. You should be ashamed of yourself, op shop for fucking selling that. You could even tell from the uh, tag. The tag itself showed how fake it was. So you might say AFL on it, but it's it's bullshit. So that little hat looked pretty cool, but wouldn't have fit my head. I would have wore that as well for show and tell. There's a beret or whatever the hell you call them, beret or... This, anyways, a Moulin Rouge beret, beret. Uh, I chucked it back, only because I couldn't spell beret and I couldn't look it up, so I couldn't spell it. Anyone seen uh, this brand before? I have not, and I also couldn't really find anything on comps. Would you have chucked this back or would you have grabbed it? Some evolution shit, it says evolution... I couldn't really find anything on it. Uh, jeans to me look like jeans. All jeans look the same. How do you fuckers know what is special and what isn't special besides the brand name? They've all got rips in the knees and they've all freaking faded and they're not faded. And Man, I tell you what. I don't know why people freaking spend top dollar. Top dollar on jeans. Just give me a normal pair of jeans. They look the fucking same. Um... Here we go. Look what we got here. I found RM Williams men's jeans, parachute size. These are fucking awesome. First RM Williams jeans I've found. Yeah, checking the pockets now, making sure I always check the pockets so uh, <laughs> I don't uh, I don't uh, find holes in them like uh, my first pair that I found. But not bad. Found this pair. Don't know if any of you have heard this brand before, but this brand here, it is, it's got a cool, it had a cool little button on it, it had a cool back tag, Six Legend, uh, had a cool little logo there, and um, I really could not find anything on comps for it, but uh, cool little branding and all that, so hey, I'm chucking it in the basket, I don't give a shit that I couldn't find anything, uh, I'm giving it a crack. I'm giving it a crack because it looks different, and sometimes you just gotta, uh, sometimes you just gotta give it a, uh, give it a chance, give it a chance. So I'm going for the pretty boy shirts. Couldn't really find anything in there this time. Uh, a lot of Connor, a lot of Connor brands. If you know the old Connor brand in Australia, not gonna get many bucks back from that. Uh, I was really hoping to find a. Uh, Mambo Loud, but uh, that did not happen. I did not cross that off my list. So, that's okay. That's alright. There we go. I thought that was as well. And I fucking got a little bit excited, but uh, no go. No go. 
And I've told you once, I'll tell you again, look for the sheets. Look for the fucking sheets. Look for the sheets. No luck this time. No luck this time. But, that's alright. That's alright. Look at this little vest here. This fucking weird little vest. This, uh, Tui's new jacket jumper, whatever the fuck it was. For six dollars, uh, for six bucks, definitely, uh, worth a buy, but I had to put it back because Comp said they only sell for fifteen dollars. So, fifteen bucks, not worth it if you're paying seven dollars, but to be honest, I should have actually brought that to wear that myself or for Kelly because it was actually pretty sweet. Uh, some, I thought this was going to be some flower power shit from, uh, our bingo list, but, um, no, no, no luck there, no luck there at all, and, uh, last but not least, uh, from this first, uh, op shop, I didn't grab this, comps, uh, comps said no, comps said don't fucking do it, don't, don't fucking buy it, just, uh, just leave it, just leave it, and, uh, let some other sucker buy it, but, uh, yeah, you can only get about 15 bucks back from that, that's alright. Not a big fucking deal. That one was actually pretty good, and I've just discovered there's another op shop over here. Animal welfare op shop? So that's new. I can hope we're going in there, we're going in there before the shit one. Alrighty, we found this new, brand spanking new, uh, thrift shop, and, uh, still haven't changed my settings from NTS to PAL, so colours there look like they're flashing from the, uh, from the fan there. Found these, uh, fucking, what are they, Angry Birds, Angry Bird Plush, and they're on the, uh, what's it called, in the box still, so that's pretty fucking sweet. Happy with that. Looked up comps, they sell, so we're keeping them. We're keeping them four bucks each though. Look at this Roadrunner. I should have picked this Roadrunner, but it was two bucks. Two bucks was a bit steep, I thought. It was a 90s Roadrunner, but it wasn't in that great a shape. And uh, check this out. Underlay, underlay, there's fucking uh, good old little Speedy Gonzalez. Good old Speedy Gonzalez, what a champ. But I didn't pick them up. And if I did pick them up with the dog, the dog would have ripped them apart within fucking seconds. So, I did find these play school puppets, which I'll show you on Thursday. I did grab them. Uh, I think she charged me a dollar each for them, not two dollars each. Because uh, I was going to put them back. And they weren't bad. Cool little puppets. I think they're from 1994, I think it was, the set on it. Uh, but we'll uh, do that uh, when I film the uh, Thursday night one. See if they're worth any money. Books, just couldn't be bothered. Could not be bothered with the books. Sometimes it's just a little bit of a waste of time going for the books. There were so many books there. I skimmed them. I skimmed them, but that's the best you can do. Let's get out of this fucking shitty shop and go over to the friggin' Salvos. Salvos always a lot better than these. some of these other ones. So, Salvos. I think they had fucking... Everything was two dollars on a red tag, and of course you can't find any fucking red tags when you're looking around. So I go straight for the shirts. I go straight for the shirts now. Jesus, I go straight for the shirts. What a crazy fucker. And what do we find? Fucking another retro fucking Star Wars. Another retro Star Wars shirt. Actually, I don't even know if this one's retro, but I've got a retro one off my bingo list, so it doesn't really matter. That was four bucks. I'll probably get about twenty bucks for that. Thank you very much. I'll take that. I didn't grab a basket. Didn't grab a basket, didn't want to, uh, put a curse on myself. Got this little fucking basket thing, uh, happening at the moment. Anyway, we, uh, go through these, and, uh, look what I find. What is up in the house? 50 cent? 50 fucking cent? G unit. G fucking unit. What? What? What the fuck's up? So all the gangsters in the house will want this shit. That's an extra large, but it's like fucking huge. But I guess like these jersey things are freaking meant to be huge for all these uh, gangsters out there that wear their stuff. Uh, 50 cents. It wasn't 50 cents. I can't remember how much it was. Uh, but uh, I think it was nine bucks, seven bucks. Can't remember. Anyway, uh, they wanted, I think it was nine or nine or eight bucks. Can't remember for this. Uh, 
And you've got this Irish uh, football jersey. I actually left it. There we go. There we go. There's your price there. Uh, I left that. That was a bit too rich for my blood. A bit too rich for my blood. And as you see, I had to have a look at the little comps there, but uh, comps told me no. Comps told me don't risk it. I think it was 13 bucks it said on there then, didn't it? And it was all priced a little bit high, but uh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this. Dude. Look at this prick fucking scrolling through his fucking phone. So keep on looking through this shit. And uh, what do we find? Fucking Bon Jovi. He's living like a fucking prayer right here. Sold out world tour. I think that was 2006 Perth one. I didn't. Not 2010. I didn't buy that because it said Perth only on there. And you know how many people actually want a fucking Bon Jovi. Want a Bon Jovi fucking shirt, really, from the concert. So I left that. Now look at these jeans. You know these jeans. They wanted $25 for these. I think, what were they, Armani or some shit? Armani's or whatever. I looked at the comps, and the comp says you can get some good dosh for them, but... Oof, 25 bucks for the jeans? Fucking tell you right now, they can go suck a dick. They can go suck a dick. I am paying 25 bucks. I'm trying to make money here. There we go. Money jeans. $25. Would you have left them or would you have brought them? Oh, there's someone's receipt in the pocket. Uh, 25 bucks. Fuck off. You got no chance in hell. Kitty's area. I like the toys. Uh, I did pick this up for 5 bucks. 50 pieces. Uh, Colouring inset. Star Wars. Uh, why not? If it doesn't sell, uh, we'll crank it out and we'll fucking colour some pictures in. Why fucking not? But uh, I couldn't find anything on comps, nothing at all, but it is Star Wars, so people type in the word Star Wars, so give it a crack. And for five bucks, pff, why bloody not, mate? Why bloody not? Oh, so much for being a quick one. Uh... Yeah, I've been fucking thrifting for an hour and a... No. Fuck, two hours. No, hour and 40. I've been drifting for an hour and 40 minutes so far. We got that last one to go to, the filler bag for $5. I've done three thrift stores. Didn't think that third one was gonna be there, that new one. Oh, I got a headache. Look at this fucking mess. Fucking filth. <coughs> Now, I usually have good luck in this place. Uh, this old tin shed. Uh, look, I'll give you the honest truth on this one. I don't think I'm going to be coming back for a long, long, long time. I think I cleaned them out that time when I uh, got a few bags of books for five bucks. Uh, the clothes, like this England one was all right, but fuck, everything had so much dust all over it. Uh, the stuff had been sitting there for a long time and everything was in disgusting shape. Absolute disgusting shape. It was not worth filling a bag for five dollars at all. It was just crap. Absolute crap. I'm not going back there. I'm not looking through their clothes again. That was the only fucking men's clothes rack as well. That little rack there that I'm looking through now is the only men's clothes rack. All the women's clothes was pretty shit as well. I did have a little look through. Uh, easy to, easier to look through because uh, it's empty. Every time I go to this fucking thrift shop, it's empty as shit. I think everyone knows to stay away. I have found some good stuff that's sold in here in the past, like toys and books, but... Uh, oh, man. I'll be staying away from this one for a while. They need to get their stock up. I don't think anyone's donating to them, so... Unfortunately, uh, they've uh, now got the dog shit tag on them, and... Uh, we don't go back to anyone with a dog shit tag for a while. Damn it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that was a pretty good day. Click like and subscribe, do what the fuck you want. Um, I'm going, fuck sake, fuck sake. So there's me third fucking dog shit thing for the day. I knew it would happen running threes. I left me fucking bags that I need to post. On the kitchen bench, so wicked lucky me. Yeehaw, lucky fucking me. Yee. Alright, I'm gonna go home and get that shit because that needs to be posted.
Thanks for joining me. Join me Thursday for Ride Along. You don't want to miss it. Let's see what the kitty tells. The kitty. The kitty doesn't lie, remember. Just remember, the kitty doesn't lie. Click like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. I'm out. See you. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day.